Well, your grass may have been dead or brown most of the summer, but how has the drought impacted our trees? I looked at that problem that will take more than a little bit of rain to fix. Well, we've got one out here, red bud, that is really very close to being unrecoverable. Despite recent rains, there's a growing problem that begins in the soil. Not enough water for local trees. They're clearly showing stress. The leaves are turning brown. Some of the limbs look like they've died. Over the last few months, David Madden with Davy Tree Expert Company in Austin has witnessed trees not getting enough water near the ground and showing signs of stress at the top. They're losing moisture faster than they can replace it. They have to shed some weight. So they dump a lot of their leaves. Fewer leaves means less energy from the sun, a vicious cycle that can cause a tree to die, while some trees were planted too recently. But this one probably did not have enough of a root system established to make it through this drought. So what can you do to save the trees in your yard? Do a rain dance, and if that doesn't work, soak them when water restrictions allow. Your lawn needs the top three inches of soil to be wet in order to survive. Your trees need the soil below three inches deep to be wet in order to grow. Just like grass, your trees need a fertilizer to bounce back from the drought, but you'll need to be patient with the recovery. It's probably too late to see a mass recovery this year, but getting them bolstered before we go into the fall, the winter, and get them prepared for next spring will be the big challenge. In Austin, meteorologist Nick Bannon, KXAN News.